Hello, welcome to Crip Point Awareness Channel. My name is Sayyad. Please first look at the disclaimer. This is an educational channel. The whole purpose of this channel is to raise awareness. Let's talk about Talos. Talos is a new fork of US. In the US ecosystem, it is perfectly okay to have multiple mainnets, multiple chains and also side chains. And also US source code is open, free. Anyone can take the source code and create a new network. And there is nothing wrong with that. Actually, it is going to help the US ecosystem. It is going to provide a test case for current US mainnet. There is no doubt about it that EOS has lot of benefits over traditional blockchains. And I have made a video about this, about the benefits of EOS. But we should not forget that there is nothing perfect in this world. So EOS has also some big drawbacks and we should not hide those drawbacks. We should actually talk about those drawbacks. We should discuss those drawbacks and we should try to resolve those issues. Talos is going to attempt to resolve some of the issues that EOS has. I am not saying that Talos is also perfect or if Talos is going to resolve all of the issues, but Talos is a good attempt to try to resolve some of the issues that EOS mainnet has and also it is going to provide a test network for EOS mainnet so the EOS mainnet can learn from it and can implement in future new things, new changes in the EOS ecosystem. I am not going to talk about everything that Talos is going to provide. This is the website of Talos. Please look at this website read this website, read their white paper and try to understand it. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks of EOS. One of the big drawback is centralization. We should not hide that. This is a reality. EOS is getting centralized. The big block producers and the big whales that are supporting those block producers, they are taking over and they are also cooperating with each other. So it is very difficult for a small actor to play an active role in the US ecosystem. The entry of a new block producer in the US ecosystem is almost impossible. It's really very hard. There are big whales. Those whales own millions of EOS tokens. With just one vote, they can make any block producer to appear to be on top of the list. They can decide who will be among 21 top block producers. And the existing block producers who are among top 21, they are themselves becoming whales. They are becoming very powerful. They are having a lot of power. They have a lot of influence and they are making harder and harder for the small block producer or for the new actors to join the mainnet. So Talos is going to target this problem. They are going to attempt to resolve this issue. So what they are doing? They are going to allocate tokens, Talos tokens, based on EOS Genesis block, but no one will get tokens more than 40,000. So 40,000 TELUS tokens is their upper limit. So if as an US token holder, you have more than 40,000 US tokens, you are not going to get more than 40,000 TELUS tokens. So the upper limit is 40,000, but below 40,000, you will get for each US token, one TELUS token. So this is not going to solve all the problem of centralization, but at least in the beginning, there will not be any whale. So in the beginning, it is decentralized in a sense that there will not be a big whale. 
and the block producers will be selected by the general public by the token holders and none of them will have more than 40,000 Telos tokens and then by good governance framework they are going to tackle the issue of centralization so they are going to try their best not to become US in terms of centralization one of the other problem that US has is about governance today we are not satisfied with the US governance the block producers they have a lot of power a lot of influence and also the arbitration process is not independent from block producers if some block producer is going to violate the constitution then today it is very hard to do anything about it the block producers in the US ecosystem has so much power that if they say that this phone has white color then everyone has to accept that this black phone has a white color that is the power of US block producers collectively so Talos is trying to attempt to resolve these kind of issues from the governance perspective and other point to note is that today there is an issue of RAM RAM is so expensive and do you know that it is the block producers who are responsible to provide the RAM resources to the rest of the community but the block producers in the US ecosystem they are themselves involved in the RAM speculation and that is causing problem with the RAM and it is never going to be solved if they don't do any big change in the US ecosystem Talos is going to try and attempt to resolve the RAM issues so it will become very cheap for the dApps developers Talos will also be very fast in comparison with other blockchains including in comparison with EOS Talos is going to support 50,000 transactions per second and also the transaction will be instant so these are some of the few problems that Talos is going to attempt to resolve there are also other issues that Talos is going to resolve but you have to look at the white paper I will make a more detailed video about this topic later on today I just want to highlight that there is a new kid in the US ecosystem and that is a Talos and you all are welcome to join Talos please join Talos community and there is nothing wrong to join Talos community from US perspective because both US and Talos they can work together they can work side by side and also as I said it is part of the US ecosystem to have multiple chains and multiple mainnets so at the same time you can join both EOS ecosystem and also you can join Talos so please join Talos you can study about it this is their white paper this is their website you can look into that you can read about it and this is also the time to have some influence so if you see something wrong in Talos you can highlight that uh, you can give your comments you can give your feedback one thing also I would like to mention here that there is a block producer from Sweden named Sweden Cornet. They are also part of Talos community. They have their block producing node in the Talos test network and Sweden Cornet is also part of EOS mainnet. And Sweden Cornet thinks that there's nothing wrong to join both networks at the same time and we are sure that Talos will provide a good test case to the US mainnet US mainnet could learn something from Talos network and Talos network is already learning a lot from US mainnet so this was everything that I wanted to talk about today thank you to all of you and see you next time